A discrete global grid DGG, is a mosaic which covers the entire Earth's surface. Mathematically it is a space partitioning, it consists of a set of non-empty regions that form a partition of the Earth's surface. In a usual grid modeling strategy, to simplify position calculations, each region is represented by a point, abstracting the grid as a set of region points. Each region or region point in the grid is called a cell. When each cell of a grid is subject to a recursive partition, resulting in a series of discrete global grids with progressively finer resolution. Forming a hierarchical grid, it is named hierarchical DGG sometimes DGG system. Discrete global grids are used as the geometric basis for the building of geospatial data structures. Each cell is related with data objects or values, or in the hierarchical case, may be associated with other cells. DGGs have been proposed for use in a wide range of geospatial applications, including vector and raster location representation, data fusion, and spatial databases. The most usual grids are for horizontal position representation, using a standard datum, like WGS84. In this context, it is common also to use a specific DGG as foundation for geocoding standardization. In the context of a spatial index, a DGG can assign unique identifiers to each grid cell, using it for spatial indexing purposes, in geo databases or for geocoding. Topic. Reference model of the globe The globe in the DGG concept, have no strict semantic, but in geodesy a so-called grid reference system is a grid that divides space with precise positions relative to a datum, that is an approximated a standard model of the geoid. So, in the role of geoid, the globe covered by a DGG can be any of the following objects. The topographical surface of the Earth, when each cell of the grid has its surface position coordinates and the elevation in relation to the standard geoid. Example, grid with coordinates phi, lambda, z, where z is the elevation. A standard geoid surface. The z coordinate is zero for all grid, them can be omitted, phi, lambda. Ancient standards, before 1687, the Newton's Principia publication, used a reference sphere. In nowadays, the geoid is mathematically abstracted as reference ellipsoid. A simplified geoid, sometimes an old geodesic standard e AD 69, or a non-geodesic surface e G, perfectly spherical surface must be adopted, and will be covered by the grid. In this case, cells must be labeled with non-ambiguous way, phi, lambda, and the transformation phi, lambda, phi, lambda must be known. A projection surface. Typically the geographic coordinates phi, lambda, are projected with some distortion onto the 2D mapping plane with 2D Cartesian coordinates x, y. As a global modeling process, modern DGGs, when including projection process, tend to avoid surfaces like cylinder or a conic solids that result in discontinuities and indexing problems. Regular polyhedra and other topological equivalents of sphere led to the most promising known options to be covered by DGGs, because 
Spherical projections preserve the correct topology of the Earth, there are no singularities or discontinuities to deal with. When working with a DGG, it is important to specify which of these options was adopted. So, the characterization of the reference model of the globe of a DGG can be summarized by the recovered object, the object type in the role of globe. If there is no projection, the object covered by the grid is the geoid, the earth or a sphere, else is the geometry class of the projection surface e.g. a cylinder, a cube or a cone. Projection type, absent no projection, or present. When present, its characterization can be summarized by the projection's goal property e.g. equal area, conformal, etc. and the class of the corrective function e.g. trigonometric, linear, quadratic, etc. Note, when the DGG is covering a projection surface, in a context of data provenance, the metadata about reference geoid is also important typically informing its ISO 19111's CRS value, with no confusion with the projection surface. <laughs> Topic. Types and examples The main distinguishing feature to classify or compare DGGs is the use or not of hierarchical grid structures. In hierarchical reference systems each cell is a box reference to a subset of cells, and cell identifiers can express this hierarchy in its numbering logic or structure. In non-hierarchical reference systems each cell have a distinct identifier and represents a fixed scale region of the space. The discretization of the latitude-longitude system is the most popular, and the standard reference for conversions. Other usual criteria to classify a DGG are tile shape and granularity grid resolution. Tile regularity and shape, there are regular, semi-regular or irregular grid. As in generic tilings by regular polygons, is possible to tiling with regular face like wall tiles can be rectangular, triangular, hexagonal, etc., or with same face type but changing its size or angles, resulting in semi-regular shapes. Uniformity of shape and regularity of metrics provide better grid indexing algorithms. Although it has less practical use, totally irregular grids are possible, such in a Voronoi coverage. Fine or coarse granulation, cell size, modern DGGs are parametrizable in its grid resolution, so, it is a characteristic of the final DGG instance, but not useful to classify DGGs, except when the DGG type must use an specific resolution or have a discretization limit. A. Fine. Granulation grid is non-limited and coarse refers to drastic limitation. Historically the main limitations are related to digital, analogic media, the compression, expanded representations of the grid in a database, and the memory limitations to store the grid. When a quantitative characterization is necessary, the average area of the grid cells or average distance between cell centers can be adopted. Non-hierarchical grids The most common class of discrete global grids are those that place cell center points on longitude, latitude meridians and parallels, or which use the longitude, latitude meridians and parallels to form the boundaries of rectangular cells. Examples of such grids, all based on latitude, longitude. 
Topic: <laughs> Hierarchical grids. The right aside illustration show three boundary maps of the coast of Great Britain. The first map was covered by a grid level 0 with 150 km size cells. Only a grey cell in the centre, with no need of zoom for detail, remains level 0. All other cells of the second map was partitioned into four cells grid, grid level 1, each with 75 km. In the third map 12 cells level 1 remains as grey, all other was partitioned again, each level 1 cell transformed into a level 2 grid. Examples of DGGs that use such recursive process, generating hierarchical grids, include Topic. Standard equal area hierarchical grids There are a class of hierarchical DGGs named by the Open Geospatial Consortium OGC as discrete global grid systems DGGS that must to satisfy 18 requirements among them what best distinguishes this class from other hierarchical DGGs is the requirement 8 for each successive level of grid refinement, and for each cell geometry. Cells that are equal area within the specified level of precision. A DGGS is designed as a framework for information as distinct from conventional coordinate reference systems originally designed for navigation. For a grid-based global spatial information framework to operate effectively as an analytical system it should be constructed using cells that represent the surface of the Earth uniformly. The DGGS standard include in its requirements a set of functions and operations that the framework must to offer. All DGGS's level 0 cells are equal area faces of a regular polyhedra. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Database modeling. There are many DGGs because there are many representational, optimization and modeling alternatives. All DGG grid is a composition of its cells, and, in the hierarchical DGG each cell uses a new grid over its local region. The illustration is not adequate to tin dem cases and similar raw data structures, where the database not use the cell concept that geometrically is the triangular region, but nodes and edges, each node is an elevation and each edge is the distance between two nodes. In general, each cell of the DGG is identified by the coordinates of its region point illustrated as the central point of a database representation. It is also possible, with loss of functionality, to use a free identifier. That is, any unique number or unique symbolic label per cell, the cell ID. The ID is usually used as spatial index, such as internal quad tree or KD tree, but is also possible to transform ID into a human readable label for geocoding applications. Modern databases e.g. using S2 grid use also multiple representations for the same data offering both a grid or cell region based in the geoid and a grid based in the projection. Topic: History Discrete global grids with cell regions defined by parallels and meridians of latitude, longitude have been used since the earliest days of global geospatial computing. 
Before it, the discretization of continuous coordinates for practical purposes, with paper maps, occurred only with low granularity. Perhaps the most representative and main example of DGG of this pre-digital era was the 1940s military UTM DGGs, with thinner granulate cell identification for geocoding purposes. Similarly some hierarchical grid exists before geospatial computing, but only in coarse granulation. A global surface is not required for use on daily geographical maps, and the memory was very expansive before the 2000s, to put all planetary data into the same computer. The first digital global grids were used for data processing of the satellite images and global climatic and oceanographic fluid dynamics modeling. The first published references to hierarchical geodesic DGG systems are to systems developed for atmospheric modeling and published in 1968. These systems have hexagonal cell regions created on the surface of a spherical icosahedron. The spatial hierarchical grids were subject to more intensive studies in the 1980s, when main structures, as quadri, were adapted in image indexing and databases. While specific instances of these grids have been in use for decades, the term discrete global grids were coined by researchers at Oregon State University in 1997 to describe the class of all such entities. OGC standardization in 2017 Topic. Comparison and evolution The evaluation discrete global grid consists of many aspects, including area, shape, compactness, etc. Evaluation methods for map projection, such as TESO's Indicatrix, are also suitable for evaluating map projection-based discrete global grid. In addition, averaged ratio between complementary profiles gives a good evaluation of shape distortions for quadrilateral shaped discrete global grid. Database development choices and adaptations are oriented by practical demands for greater performance, reliability or precision. The best choices are being selected and adapted to necessities, propitiating the evolution of the DGG architectures. Examples of this evolution process, from non-hierarchical to hierarchical DGGs, from the use of Z-curve indexes a naive algorithm based in digits interlacing, used by Geohash, to Hilbert curve indexes, used in modern optimizations, like S2. Topic. Geocoding variants In general each cell of the grid is identified by the coordinates of its region point, but it is also possible to simplify the coordinate syntax and semantics, to obtain an identifier, as in a classic alphanumeric grids, and find the coordinates of a region point from its identifier. Small and fast coordinate representations is a goal in the cell ID implementations, for any DGG solutions. There is no loss of functionality when using a free identifier instead of a coordinate, that is, any unique number or unique symbolic label per region point, the cell ID. So, to transform a coordinate into a human readable label, and or compressing the length of the label, is an additional step in the grid representation. Some popular global place codes 
as ISO 3166-1 alpha 2 for administrative regions or Longhurst code for ecological regions of the globe, are partial in globe's coverage. By other hand, any set of cell identifiers of a specific DGG can be used as full coverage place codes. Each different set of IDs, when used as a standard for data interchange purposes, are named geocoding system. There are many ways to represent the value of a cell identifier cell ID of a grid, structured or monolithic, binary or not, human readable or not. Supposing a map feature, like the Singapore's Merlion Fountain, approximately 5 meters scale feature, represented by its minimum bounding cell or a center point cell, the cell ID will be all these geocodes represents the same position in the globe, with similar precision, but differ in string length, separators use and alphabet non-separator characters. In some cases the original DGG representation can be used. The variants are minor changes, affecting only final representation, for example the base of the numeric representation, or interlacing parts of the structured into only one number or code representation. The most popular variants are used for geocoding applications. Topic. Alphanumeric global grids. DGGs and its variants, with human readable cell identifiers, has been used as de facto standard for alphanumeric grids. It is not limited to alphanumeric symbols, but alphanumeric is the most usual term. Geocodes are notations for locations, and in a DGG context, notations to express grid cell IDs. There are a continuous evolution in digital standards and DGGs, so a continuous change in the popularity of each geocoding convention in the last years. Broader adoption also depends on countries' government adoption, use in popular mapping platforms, and many other factors. Examples used in the following list are about minor grid cell. Containing the Washington Obelisk, 38 degrees 53 minutes 22.11 seconds north, 77 degrees 2 minutes 6.88 seconds west. Other documented variants, but supposed not in use, or to be never popular. See also Grid reference Geodesic grid List of geocoding systems Military grid reference system <laughs>